Blessings and love and light, my friends. I'm here today to help teach you the three keys to master meditation. And it's very quick, very easy. And then I will be teaching you the column. And the column is to protect yourself as well. And to raise your vibration rapidly. This is incredible. These two uh, techniques are my gift. I give back to the world. So the three keys to master meditation. I'll teach you the wheel of life breathing. And then explain why. Uh, which is credible. So, and I'll also in the future be teaching you more about chakras because uh, for now I think we could just use the heart because the heart is the center of our being and the center of our universe. Uh, so, when you breathe in, uh, we can go over the setting too. See, I have a beautiful crystals, relaxing music. And I'm comfortable. I'm warm. I'm not too hot. I'm not too cool. But, uh, meditation you can practice anywhere and it's just continuing practice because when you practice you're strengthening your meditation muscles and just like if you want abs you've got to do sit-ups so you, you want to be very successful in balancing your mind your body connecting to your heart your soul your spirit meditation's the door the open doorway within and it's also uh, positive invocations as well reframing your negative to a positive so the three keys to mastery meditation you breathe in and as you breathe in you relax your body and hold and then when you breathe out out very very slowly count how long how many seconds are you breathing out so for example if you breathe out for six seconds all the way out pause for three seconds and circle your breathing around and as you circle your breathing around and then now breathe in for six seconds, hold, breathe out for six seconds, hold for three. And that's a good way to start. Masters and Swamis, they breathe in for 32 seconds, they hold for 16, they circle their breathing around. And then Swamis that can levitate, their hold breath is about six minutes, three, six minutes, because they're completely one with life. And that's how when you, and obviously they've meditated for mega years as well, decades, unless of course they were instantly enlightened, which is kind of refreshing too. So now that you're breathing in and hold, practice to breathe in longer. So if you breathe in for 10 seconds, hold for five as you turn and circle your breathing around. And you could visualize breathing into in through your crown and out through your heart. Or you could breathe in through the back of your heart and out through the front of your heart and circle your breathing around again. So those are the three keys, believe it or not, to master meditation is the longer, the slower the breath. So when you, it's in the hold, when you're doing the hold, your brain naturally releases endorphins to help you go in the inner world deeper, deeper than you've ever done before. It also helps not only connect with different realms, but it helps you connect with your subconscious. And when you bring up issues from your subconscious, that's on the platform for healing. And then you start healing your body even more so. You start learning control over your emotions, your negative emotions. You start enjoying life even more because when you have a clear palate, it, it's like you're a child. When you're, and when your heart is open, that is like a child. You're innocent, you're willing, you're non-judgmental. You're completely open. So now I will teach you the column. So while you're doing your wheel of life breathing, the longer, the slower, the deeper, the breath, the longer, the slower, the deeper, the breath. Now visualize you have a uh, piece of fluff ball on the end of your nose. And when you breathe, you want to breathe so slow that you don't waver that fluff ball. So while you're breathing in, just visualize that you're breathing slower, slower, slower. And then as you hold, you circle your breathing around. And as you breathe out very slow, you don't waver that fluff ball. And that's why people say, oh, when you have a thought comes up, I think too much. And they say, oh, just throw it away. Well, pay attention to what thoughts come up. Because when you're, as soon as you're focusing on raising your vibration, that's what you're doing when you're focusing on breathing. You're raising, as soon as you're raising your vibration, 
you have these brilliant thoughts and then I have a pen and paper to write down or a recording device because you want to remember this incredible vision because it comes to you in higher vibration and so much information creative. That's when our creative chakras, our, our juices are flowing. And then, then we feel just ecstatic and refreshed because we have new inspirations and we're following them. So if you need to pause your meditation, that is fine. Come back to your meditation as soon as you can. And when you're practicing, practice. Uh, same time always works good, but practice regularly so that... Uh, you become accustomed to it because we're habitual beings and when being habitual beings we remember better when we've done it already because before you know it, it it's just like uh, walking you walk without thinking you automatically do it same as meditation becomes that way too and then the more you practice with your three keys then pretty soon you'll be channeling your higher heart and higher energies more rapidly which is exciting so now, now that I've got you all <laughs> excited as opposed to calming you down, let's go back to the fluff ball. And now I'd like to uh, you to visualize the ultimate cosmic great central sun, God, the creator, the universal source as we know it. And this creator sends us a beam of light, a beam of pure divine healing light. And this beam of light comes down through the universes, through the cosmos, through our galaxy, through our, right down into our atmosphere. Around you, visualize a pure divine column of white light coming around you and continuing on to the center of Mother Earth. Through her soil, through her underground caverns, through her crystals, through, through everything that you see but straight down into Mother Earth's molten iron core heart and anchors there. And Mother Earth instantly returns a beautiful green column of energy. She merges instantly with the Creator's energy and sends her healing, grounding, purifying energy up around you through the heavens and anchors into the Creator. So now while you're practicing breathing, or even if you quickly need information, visualize your column. And then again, focus back on your wheel of life, breathing with your fluff ball, so you're breathing very, very slow. And now you're breathing in divine energy. So in, in your hold, your brain is releasing more endorphins, and now you're breathing more divine energy for spirits, for um, the creator. You're cooked up to divine energy, and you're grounded into Mother Earth. We breathe and eat, we are of Mother Earth every moment and we breathe and we're of spirit every moment we're here. So now you have the column, you have the alignment and now when you breathe, you're breathing in divine pure grounding energy. And now you could visualize your own mudra, your meridian line in your spine. So from your heart center, visualize like uh, your astral cord Visualize that going up your spine, out your crown, hooking to the creator. And again, from your heart, down your spine, down to set anchoring in Mother Earth. This is hooking up your, your chakras so that uh, now you're completely hooked up and protected. And then you could visualize all your chakras emanating vibrant, vibrantly in perfect unison and you are a perfect rainbow. And with our perfect rainbow emanating, then we're balanced, we're breathing, we're being pure, pure light and pure energy. And these three techniques help radiate your energy field so much more rapidly. And uh, this is what I do with my clients, uh, whether it's hypnosis or bring them into meditation, is bring them into these breathing techniques. So then, now you don't, when you have your column up, there's nothing to fear because some people fear when, they, especially when they're first learning meditation, you know, is the spirit going to come in or, or bad things or monsters or am I going to move to a dimension that, that I'm worried about? And fear is like a magnet, a negative magnet. It attracts more negativity. And just like positivity is a positive magnet and it con or connects with and attracts positivity. So work through your fears because any fears that come up you it's very important and spirit will show you as well 
So while you're holding up the column and breathing in, know that there's no such thing as time. You're all time and no time. There's no such thing as time. Time is felt backward as emit. So now I ask of you to be conscious that you now live in divine time. Everything that happens in life for you and with you is divine time. So that being said, while you're breathing in the divine energy and within your column, you're breathing in divinity, but you're also connected to all kingdoms, all realms, all um, your ancestors, all, uh, so whether it be the fairy kingdom, animal kingdom, your past and futures, your past and futures lives, 